My Skag Turf Tiger is blowing the 20 amp fuses. The last time this happened, the Ogura PTO clutch was bad and I suspect this might be the case again. Wonder why I can only get two years on a Ogura clutch? Hi, my name Isks of those fuses is the power supply to the ignition switch, the other is for the charging system. First to check the clutch you will need an ohm meter. With the clutch lead unplugged, check the resistance across the two leads of the clutch. The reading should be 2.5 to 4.5 ohms. An open circuit indicates a bad clutch, a 0 ohm reading indicates a dead short, which is also a bad clutch. Most of those clutches are adjustable and need to be adjusted every season, but you may have a problem in the charging system also. Check the clutch and let me know what you find and we can proceed from there. Thanks, Brian. Our chat has ended, but you can still continue to ask me questions here until you are satisfied with your answer. Come back to this page to view our conversation and any other new information. What happens now? Or, you can reply to me using the box below. Okay, we'll check with Ohm Meter and get right back to you. Okay. Hi Brian, I checked the clutch with a good fluke meter and registering a good 2.9 ohms. Then I conducted a little experiment. I put an inline 20 amp fuse and connected the leads from the clutch directly to the battery. Clutch engages perfectly and does not blow fuse. I think you might have been right on a problem with the charging system, but I have no clue how to proceed. Okay, if it is only blowing the fuse when you turn on the clutch there are two things to do. First get a 0.010 inch feeler gauge. On the clutch there are three nuts. These are to adjust the clutch. Next to each nut is a slot, which is where you insert the feeler gauge. Get all three checkpoints to 0.010 and pay attention to how much you needed to turn the each nut. Half to three quarters of a turn is fine, but if you need a full turn or more, the clutch was pretty far out of adjustment, which means it was drawing a lot more amps than it was supposed to. Next trace the wires for the clutch, especially where they go through the tube, looking for a bare wire. Once you are satisfied that the clutch is adjusted and the wires are okay, turn the key on, without starting the engine, and then engage the clutch. You should hear the ping of the clutch engaging. This is only using battery voltage, not charging. If all is okay to this point, turn off the clutch and start the engine. Check the voltage at the battery, it should be between 13.5 and 14.5 volts DC. Let me know what you find. Hi Brian. Sorry I am late responding, had to go out of town for three days. Based on your instructions I am now convinced that the problem is not with the PTO electric clutch. Tomorrow I will check the wiring to ensure no breaks or shorts. Thanks so much. Sinclair Dameron if you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.